Okay, this is your fast scales, A flat and D flat. Check this out. In general, when we're dealing with uh, the three black notes in the middle here, we're looking at these three fingers and those two fingers on the two black notes in general. Um, some of these scales break the rule, but it's just the most comfortable for the hand. Same goes for here. Four, three, two, and two, three. Okay, those are the fingers. So we can practice by going like this because we're getting into the, into the scales that use a lot of black notes. So here's A flat. Right. Even though we're, this is our fingering for those three notes, we're starting on A flat, which is right here. So we do this. Then here we turn our thumb so that we can get these two fingers here and then here. Now this note isn't in the A flat scale, so it would be this, but it's that. Okay. So okay. Same thing here as in E flat. Is you got three, four, and then that you got that one at the end. Okay, and if you see that that's kind of where our hand goes even though that note is not in the scale it still puts the third finger on our a flat so it's three four one four one okay and then the same concept for d flat okay same thing here two and there's our right you got an f in there so our thumb's gonna hit that and then we're left with two at the end. All right, let's start with A flat. Here it comes. Right hand. fingers out on this scale, which is fine. Sorry, that was a three. Three at the top. See, you can kind of get away with flattening out your hand just a little bit. Great job. So now over time, you'll find that D flat is the hardest uh, key to read music in. But as far as playing and playing the scale, it's actually one of the easier scales to play. It just sits right in the hands because you're kind of rolling over the black notes with just your thumb hitting those white notes in between. Boom, white, white, right? So you can kind of just flatten out your hand and it just kind of travels up and down the keyboard. It's kind of fun that way. All right, see you in the next video.